All right, so rather than going to the right and looking at that, I, I figured let's save looking at this guy before we look at the other four big chaos gods here. So we'll go to Cathay now, then we'll go to Ogre Kingdoms, talk about that, and then we'll jump back up here, and then we'll go back down here. So anyways, Grand Cathay, a faction that looked like it had been teased in the official trailer, and then was said, yeah, they're going to be in the game. Past the mountains of Morn and the steppes beyond lies, the fabled empire of Cathay, travelers returning from the eastern reaches, tell tales of jade cities and golden pagodas. They recount strange creatures from serpentine dragons to monolithic stone sentinels and flying sky junks that rain multi-hued firepower from up above. But most of all, they tell of the imposing and disciplined armies that march forth in defense of their kingdom. The thousands of devoted foot soldiers, unswerving in their loyalty and unrivaled in the harmonics of war. That their armies faced northwards to garrison the great bastion and defended against the ruinous powers is perhaps a blessing. For should the celestial dragon emperor have to turn his legions towards the nations of the west... The threat to all that may be unleashed does not bear thinking about. I wonder if he's going to be a legendary lord in the future, via DLC. Anyways, harmony. Balance both yin and yang to achieve harmony, which will confer powerful effects. Compass. Direct the Wu Jing compass to defend the Cathay from threats north of the Great Bastion. The Ivory Road. Gain wealth by sending out caravans to deliver cargo to faraway cities in the West. A dragon in human form. So, at the moment there are two lords here, and they're both dragons. If you think I'm kidding, look at this, the cutscene. She literally just turned into a dragon. In this one, we'll be looking at Miao Ying, the Storm Dragon of the northern provinces. Miao Ying, the storm dragon, reigns across northern Cathay and commands the armies of the Great Bastion. Cold and aloof, she has ruled over the northern provinces for centuries and maintains their defenses with strength of arms and wondrous war machines. For the Great Bastion is the shield that protects Cathay from the ruinous powers of the north. And while it stands strong, to, so too does Cathay prosper. So her faction effects are minus 2 to corruption, plus 10% when fighting against 10% leadership when fighting against demons of chaos, and plus 20% ammunition for missile units, minus 50% upkeep for missile infantry units, and plus 3 harmony for yin. Grand Cathay is the land of the celestial dragon emperor. Before the world was blighted by chaos, the celestial dragon learned how to make human form, how to take human form. In case you're wondering, yes, this does sound very similar to the dragons in Warcraft, but but remember, Blizz has admitted they took inspiration for Warcraft from Warhammer. So if you're thinking, uh, oh, you know, I'm sure this was around before Warcraft <laughs> did it, so. Let's uh, hold off on that conversation. To aid his rule, he took a mate, the Moon Dragon, and they had nine children who became noble rulers of Cathay's many provinces. Of the nine, four have been lost to time and enmity. Miao Ying, the Storm Dragon, was the firstborn. Given the honor of ruling the northern provinces and charged with Cathay's defense as commander of the Great Bastion. But the predations of chaos grow. The Bastion is under strain. The power of a god may aid in securing Cathay's borders. Perhaps there is an opportunity to lure the Storm Dragon into the chaos realms? I travel east to gain an audience. Grand Cathay, a vast empire to the east, ruled by powerful creatures, dragons, who can inhabit human form. You are gravely mistaken. 
We have no interest in a mere god's power. No interest in power to use against the forces of chaos? I am Yao Yi, the Storm Dragon, older than the gods themselves. You are here for a greater purpose. This map shows the energy of all things. There should be harmony, but the world is unbalanced. My younger sister, Shen Tzu, bringer of light and hope. She ventured beyond the Norskan mountains, but was lost. Without her, without her light, darkness prevails, and our family has no comfort. Though I feel your loss, the Tome of Fates provides no insight to your sister's whereabouts. Ursa knows he witnessed her fate. Then why does he not tell you, Iron Dragon? There is mistrust between dragons and gods. If we save Ursa, he will tell us how to find Shen Tzu. Let me serve you, mighty dragons. I can reach Ursa. Lead you to him before it's too late. For one drop of his blood. Your destiny is to guide us. The armies of Cathay must breach the Maelstrom and march into chaos. Balance will be restored to the world when Shen Tzu is returned to you. Our goal is clear. To find the lost sister, we must hear the God Bear's testament before he passes into myth. I am the anointed guardian of the Great Bastion. Any breach brings great dishonor upon me. So prove your worth, mortal. Yes, great matriarch. There is indeed a rupture in the Great Bastion. The forces of Tsinch invade through the ruins of the Snake Gate and have taken the Terracotta Graveyard. Further along, the Bastion remains under threat from the Changer's forces, or as you know him, the dread power, Qian Qi. Yet, despite the enemy assaults, there remain brave defenders ever loyal to you. Bolster them, and they will gladly confederate with a revered dragon. You will need such allies, for it is on the other side of the wall where the threat is strongest. The eternal siege continues, for the dark powers are never sated. And there, the orchestrator of this woe, Kairos Fateweaver. Face this demonic oracle, lest he bring down the Bastion. Fateweaver is insidious, and the invasion is only part of his plan. Rebellion festers in Nanyang's minds under the Changer's malign influence. Punishment must be swift to reinforce your authority. Before we can hope to take the fight into the Chaos Realms themselves, we must bring harmony back to Grand Cathay. There is much to do. I will make my father proud. Okay then. <clears throat> harmony. All aspects of development in Cathay are aligned with yin or yang. Bonuses are earned and penalties are suffered based on the balance between the two. The Wu Jing Compass. The Wujing Compass influences the flow of the winds of magic around the C Cathayan homelands. The rulers of the Celestial Empire may use its power to bolster their defenses, enrich their lands, and divert harmful magic away to the desert. Cathayan factions can send trade caravans to the west along the perilous Ivory Road. Choices will have to be made and challenges overcome if expeditions are to be successful. The Storm Dragon. So yes, you can have her transform to dragon form, I think, during battle. 
which offers powerful melee attacks and flight, but restricted spell, spell availability and reduction in harmony multiplier. So it looks like if you want her to be more of a spellcaster, you keep her in human form, but if you want her to become a stronger melee, then you have her transform into a dragon. So I'm sure that'll be the case also with her brother, which I'm very much uh, guessing and curious if they plan on filling out the Grand Cathay roster with more of the other dragons for the other legendary lords that are going to be happening later on. That would be my guess anyway. Like, as, like I've mentioned before, uh, most, mo almost all of these I have not tried yet, so I'm curious about trying her out, as well as her uh, brother, the Iron Dragon. The so she starts off with Dragon Guard, Jade, Jade Warriors, Peasant Long Spearmen, Dragon Crossbowmen, Peasant Archers, Sky Junks. Ooh, they don't have a peasant mechanic like Bretonia did, do do they? I didn't like that mechanic. I did not enjoy Bretonia because of that. Ivory Road. Ah. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. Here's the compass. Okay. Defensive supplies, 500. Casual replenishment. Warpstone Desert. Dragon Emperor's Wrath. Celestial Lake. If you're wondering what supplies are, that's a new thing that they've added in the uh, some of the uh, battles in certain places where you're actually going to be building structures. It's rather interesting. Um, yeah, I'm sure some of you are going to be able to do it better than I will. So. It looks like you can't actually uh, turn her into a dragon here, like on the campaign map, which is kind of a shame, because I kind of would like to be able to have her go around the map as a dragon, but whatever sure <laughs> so that's the intro for meow ying when we return we will be taking a look at the other dragon that we can play stay tuned <laughs> 